Traditionally, when speaking of workplace health and safety, psychological injury is not something we thought about. But, as many professionals have realized lately, a workplace health and safety strategy is incomplete without taking psychological injury into account. Employees that suffer from a psychological injury due to an employer's negligence can take legal steps against their employers, so it is essential to create a safe working environment to prevent such occurrences. Legally, it's no longer okay to ignore the psychological safety of employees. Managers are now liable. Yet, how do we know if an employee is at risk of psychological injury at work? One symptom of employees that are suffering from psychological injuries is a noticeable and measurable reduction in their productivity or in the way they handle, or their inability to handle, emotional issues. For example, they may become acutely defensive even when feedback is given in a reasonable manner. Unfortunately, many businesses refuse to recognize that a place of business can have a severe psychological impact on its employees. However, considering that employees in full-time employment spend a significant portion of their time at work, it is clear that a workplace plays a vital role in an employee's life, as well as their psychological state. Traditionally, psychological injury was thought to be brought about by stressors in the workplace such as extremely high workloads, difficult employees, unrealistic deadlines or unrewarding work. Under this assumption, it was thought that a combination of stressors in a place of business increased the risk of psychological injury significantly. However, according to recent studies, other crucial factors can affect or cause mental injury at work. According to these studies, relationships at work and the level of support given to employees is more likely to cause psychological injuries than anything else. In this regard, the less supported, the less valued and the less understood an employee feels at work, the greater the risk of a psychological injury. This not only indicates that a change of attitude and behavior is required from employers, it also emphasizes the need to establish interpersonal relationships with employees, which in turn creates a platform to handle conflicts well, reducing the number of psychological injury claims made by employees. Hi, I'm Amy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones. Thank you.